What's going on everybody? Here we are really quick uh, with a video from those of you who saw the stream last night. Um, kind of know a little bit about what's going on. Um, most of the stream last night when Twitch wasn't being stupid with Twitch chat being stupid. Um, it was just about me trying to play a, a couple of different games and just kind of try and narrow stuff down to what I really wanted to play. Um, a couple of games I wanted to demo last night I knew I wasn't going to play. I just felt like, you know, just seeing what people thought about them anyway. Um, because there was really kind of one or two options that I was legitimately thinking of had a chance. Um, and we, we pretty much narrowed it down to Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinistrals, and Vandal Hearts. Um, this one is Lufia 2. This guy is an SNES game, and it's freaking amazing. Um, as you can tell, it, it well, maybe we can't tell just yet, but... Uh, it's standard old school JRPG style, similar to you know a Final Fantasy slash Breath of Fire slash like whatever, um, but it's got a lot of other unique aspects that are going for it, which is really cool. Um, as opposed to just kind of walking around and have stuff happen um, in the dungeons, for example. I just for this video, I'm not playing this. I, I'm literally I YouTube for people's videos, and I just found one at random. And I'm like, sure, I'll just watch this one, and I'll let this dude's video just play on mute. Um, so that, like, for one thing, the first thing we can see, random battles are not random. You can see the enemies, you can make steps to avoid them, um, and you don't really need to grind like you do in some RPGs. So I think that that's a very good aspect um, to make things a little bit easier. As you can see there with, like, hookshot and stuff like that, um, there are, you yeah, see, the monster caught him. Um, the battle style looks a little bit like Golden Sun, uh, which is kind of cool. You also, if you saw very briefly... Um, all the way on the right side of that screen during that battle, he had like a little blue dragon along with him, with his party. Um, there's a small Pokemon aspect to this game. You can catch like eight different monsters and level them up and stuff like that, and they help you out in battles. Um, but yeah, like the dungeons, as we saw earlier in a room, he dropped bombs to blow stuff up and used a hook shot over there. And um, So you can interact with the surrounding environment and there's puzzles and you gotta figure stuff out and it actually makes it kinda cool um, in that regard so it's not just wandering around going through a maze like there's there's literally stuff to do and some of the puzzles are actually really hard um, the commentary between the characters like they they go at it with each other pretty good <laughs> um, and it makes it kinda funny I think only Tales games are really better at that than this um, so like it's it's just really fun it's something that I, you get hooked into pretty quick, um, and it's a it's a genre that I think a lot of people of my channel would appreciate. Um, I think it'd be a lot of fun. So this is one of the options that I've got for doing an LP. I actually almost LP'd this game a couple of years ago. Um, I thought about doing a blind play of it, and I'm pretty sure I even mentioned this at the in the middle of me doing another LP, and I forget which one it was. Um, it might have been Final Fantasy or one of the Magic the Gatherings or something like that. Um, but I was thinking of doing a blind play of this a couple of years ago, and I wanted to play like just about an hour just to see kind of how it turned out and if I liked it. And I was having so much fun I couldn't stop, and suddenly I was five hours into the game, and I'm just like, I can't just start this over. And the whole time I was playing the game, I was thinking of like, here's what I would say at this point. I'm talking to myself in my head the whole time. And I had like jokes and references, and it was just like, I was doing a really good job in my head, and it would have been an amazing LP. I probably can't live up to whatever the hell I was doing at that time, but uh, it would have been really fun. So I know that, especially now that it's not blind, it would be a quality play. Um, and it's just, it's a really good game. It's really popular. It's widely known. And it's got a lot of stuff going for it. So this is one option. Let me click ahead in this guy's video, just kind of see if we can see other stuff. Um, stuff. He's pretty much just going through this dungeon. Uh, yeah, so there you can see a bunch of items there, and there's like puzzles and stuff, and you gotta figure stuff out and stuff, and you know, like I, I think it's pretty cool. Some of these puzzles were hard as hell. There were there were at least four puzzles during the game when I went to Game Facts, and I was like, solve this puzzle for me, because I'm just I'm too lazy to do this these days. <laughs> I'm too old for this crap. So hopefully it won't be too bad the second time around. Um, but we'll get my see even this dude's like I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> he's just like I don't know man all right so he's gonna get there he's gonna get there uh, he can get over here he can get up oh, I guess my mouse is off the screen okay see no big deal see this is the, oh boom hookshot there treasure chest um, yeah it's 
It's a, it's a pretty cool game. I like this game a lot. I just kind of want to click ahead, see if anything anything happens, or if he's just struggling through this dungeon the whole time. Oh, I remember this place. This place did suck. But it's cool. Huh. Anyway, that's it for uh, this one. Um, I guess I should be fair and at least say who I randomly clicked on. I randomly clicked on some guy named Tales of Creed. Never really watched any of his videos. Don't know who you are, but I figured I'll give you this. Oh, sorry about that, guys. A little bit of a uh, jump cut or whatever, something abrupt. I had to cut the stream for a second. Anyway, and this is the other game that... Sorry. Other game that I was thinking of. And this is the game I was actually leaning towards. I had pretty much just about decided I was going to play this one before doing my stream last night. Um, there's a couple of things with this one, though. Uh, this is, as you can see, a grid-based strategy RPG, so it's akin to, while the other game I said it was similar to, you know, Final Fantasy and Zelda in those regards, this game is akin to, you know, Fire Emblem and Final Fantasy Tactics and, and things of that nature. Ogre Battle, Tactics Ogre, um, it, it goes along those lines. There's puzzle elements as well, if... You know, the screen's moving around a lot. You can see, like, a red square right there is a switch. And you see, like, yeah, like, treasure chests and boxes. So there's in-battle stuff to figure out with these two. It's not just, you know, fight the guys. Um, there's, like, all SRPGs. There's that, whoa, whoa, black screen. <laughs> um, that wasn't me. That was the actual video. Uh, like, all SRPGs, there's a little bit of a rock, paper, scissors deal to it. You can see there's, you know, some mages. There's some archers. There's some soldier guys. Um, and stuff like that, and, you know, obviously some are all good against other stuff, and, you know, whatever. It's, it's a really fun game. It's one of those games where, hi, kitty. It's one of those games where it's just not very known, or it's not quite as popular, even though it should be. Um, and it's just one of those vicious cycle things. I said this on the stream yesterday, that when a game's not very widely known, people won't play it because it's not as known, because they haven't heard of it, and they think it's not going to be as good, so then they don't play it, and then other people don't learn about it, because nobody played it, and it's not known, and it doesn't get known, and people don't play it, etc., etc., etc. And so I kind of want to like bring it up to the, you know, just bring it up a little bit. If a couple people who have never heard of the game end up, you know, watching it, having fun, download the ROM and play it, you know, that that's... That's worth it. This game actually does have a couple of sequels. I've never played Vandal Hearts 2. Um, honestly, I've thought, like, maybe I should just do that, because I kind of want to play Vandal Hearts, and I've never played the second one. The second one's not as good. Um, I do remember my brother playing it, and uh, I, re I remember just, like, a couple screenshots in my head. I can picture them. Um, Vandal Hearts 2 is actually kind of cool, because I believe you and the enemy move at the exact same time, so you kind of have to predict what are they going to do, which is very unusual and unique. So, like, if your knight is walking up to a mage to smack him, but the computer happens to move the mage that same turn, then you just walked into nothing, and you wasted your turn. And I think, like, that aspect is really cool. Um, so maybe... Uh, I mean, I'll look into Vandal Hearts 2 a little bit more later today. Um, part of it is I don't... It's a very weird circumstance. I don't want to play a game that I've played before and, like, have done too much because I'll just get bored in the middle of it, and I don't want to play half of a game and then not finish it. I'd feel bad. Even if you guys don't care, I'd feel bad. Um, at the same time, I would like to play something that I've never done before, but if I haven't played it before, I don't want to, like, not like it in the middle or get bored or get stuck or just be really, really bad, which I don't, I'm not as concerned about that. <laughs> um, I'm more concerned of just straight up not liking it and not knowing that until it's been a couple episodes. Um, and so I kind of want to try and find something in the middle, and I think I've only played Vandal Hearts twice in my life. I've only played Luffy of the once, so I haven't played them too much it's been a long time since I have played both of these games, um, so I feel like they're a good compromise in the middle of those two opposites, which I'm never, I mean, it's impossible at this point for me to find, I, mean, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to do about that, so I just kind of wanted to showcase a couple of these games and see what it's all about, um, 
and I think that it could be a lot of fun. Um, it would be a little bit slower just because the genre itself is a little bit slower and less popular. People don't really like the grid-based SRPGs as much, and I don't know. I like them a lot. I wish there were more of them because most of <laughs> well, not most, but probably half of them are amazing, some of the best games of all time, like Final Fantasy Tactics and Fire Emblem and Vandal Hearts and crap like that. And then the other half of them are just like, they're so bad you never want to hear about them ever. And just like, pretend they don't exist. <laughs> so that's why the genre seems really small, you know? Um, so that's that. I just wanted to showcase a little bit of these two videos. Uh, this one is from my good buddy, oops, here we go, Dario8676. He's been off and on as an LPer, and he was tons of fun. He's pretty much the reason I did any LPs in the first place. Um, so I just pulled up one of his old videos, and he's freaking awesome. But he doesn't post anymore, and he's done that a couple of times, but I think he might actually be done now, which, you know, too bad, but hopefully he's doing all right. He probably is. Uh, what else was I going to say? Another thing on my mind, I don't know if I want to do it like a standard LP and just record on my own and just play and post, or if I wanted to do it in stream, just so that there can be, you know, a little bit of interactivity, people can help decide things in the game for me, like who, I, you know, use this character and, you know, level them up in this path as opposed to that path, stuff like that. Um, just having a chat to go along with it, um, I think that'd be kind of cool, but I get really tired of uploading a video saying, hey, I'll be streaming tomorrow at this time, and then at that time uploading another video saying, hey, I'm streaming, like, that gets really old. <laughs> so I would rather just, like, stream it when I feel like, but then nobody would be there to watch it, so I don't really know if it's better to try that or to, uh, he's playing really defensive in this battle, which is probably necessary, but um, let's skip ahead quite a bit. Let's just go over here. Um... Which probably would be necessary, which makes me think maybe I should just do recordings whenever I feel like instead. I, I don't know, whatever. So I just kind of wanted to put these ideas out there. I'll look a little bit more at Vandal Hearts 2. Maybe I should just Google for it now, you know? Let me just Google for that now. Uh, whoa, whoa. Home row there, Xerxes. Home row. Okay, I don't want... Just type in part 42. I don't care. <laughs> sure, I'll click this dude's video. I Whatever. I don't even know. Whoa! Let's get rid of that audio. You see the map screen looks nice? Vandal Hearts 2. Okay, so we got the right game at least. It's in German, I think? I can't tell. I don't know what language... <laughs> I don't know what language... It might be Italian? Uh... I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I think it's Italian. Anyway. Um, come on, let's go ahead. He's just checking out the map, which is cool. So I guess it, in this case, the game would be completely new to me. You can see both people are moving at the same time, which I think is a very cool aspect that I wish more games would try, but it definitely does make things more difficult and confusing and you know, whatever, frustrating at times, but I think it just, it also makes more sense. A lot of people don't like RPGs because of the turn-based aspect of, I'm going to stand here and wait for you to hit me, and then I'm going to do something about it. Um, so a lot of people, especially modern times, prefer real-time or active time or, you know, something. And I think this gives the genre that's most turn-based of all, and slowest of all, a little bit of that more realistic element to it. Um, like D&D, &D, you've got initiative, and people will kind of go in order of speed, and, you know, whoever rolled better and stuff like that. So it's not, you know, one whole team, then another whole team, like Fire Emblem or Vandal Hearts or anything. Um, it just makes it a little bit more more normal, and I think that that's kind of cool. And it puts a nice little prediction element into it. That guy's already moved twice, man. What the heck? I don't know if it's something you can, like, pick whoever you want to move, or if everyone has to move differently. Um, oh, never mind, it's a different, different guy, I think. So I don't know if, you know, how to abuse it or anything like that, but it looks like it's still got the same kind of, you know, there's a Hawk Knight there, see a couple of mages, and there's certainly some warriors and stuff, and, you know, whatever. So, those are 
those are the poison though. <laughs> Normally, that removes poison. In this case, he's trying to inflict... Ooh, that's a little creepy. Veleno! That means... It Whoa! My alarm clock's telling me to get up. I'm already up, dude. <laughs> um, yeah. So, that's just a little bit of what's on my mind and what's what's really going on. So, I'd hope that I'd be able to stream slash upload twice a week. At least once would be pretty easy. Twice a week would be pretty possible as well. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are my best days. I got actually Sunday. Yeah, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Because I get off at 6 on Sunday, which means I actually have some, some time at night. Um, and then I have Tuesday, Wednesday off, which makes Monday night good, and obviously Tuesday, Wednesday good. So, my schedule sucks. I hate this. That spell is gross. <laughs> Uh, whatever. Um, so that's that, and this is the part where I forget everything else that I wanted to say, and I run out of stuff to do, and it always sucks, and I don't know how to conclude things, and things, and, you know, whatever. So, what's he doing? Is he gonna throw those boomerangs at the guy? Nope, he's gonna do nothing. Probably couldn't reach. Anyway, just wanted to bring it down, you know, let you guys voice some opinions, um, ask questions, things of that nature. Um, I might have to do some streaming on live stream because Twitch Plays Pokemon is currently killing Twitch and the chat is just, like, not very effective. Um, <laughs> not at all. Uh, people have been, yeah, whatever. I'm sure you guys are aware that Twitch is lols. Um, I could obviously stream directly to YouTube still. It just... The chat isn't very good. It, it's pretty much like a broken Twitch chat, to put it in a very similar um, rating. But I guess it would make my life a little bit easier, as long as it works properly. Um, so I guess I could do that, and then I wouldn't have to worry about uploading. It would just be there. So, I, you know, that, that's that got something going for it. Um, and then, too, I can just schedule it in advance so people get to know when it's going to be there so I mean I guess that's always an option as well I just I don't really know how I want to go about it and I'm worried about stuff taking too long oh yeah Vandal Hearts is about 15 hours um Lufia 2 is between 24 and 30 hours um with if, if length is a little bit of an issue um, I know people like to have shorter parts, but if you have shorter parts, then you get 80 different episodes in an LP, and I think that's too much. So it's like, do you want too much in one episode, or do you want too many episodes in the playlist? I don't really know. Um, if I wanted to view spam for, you know, $5, then I would make 500 10-minute part, or 10 minute parts, and, you know, whatever, but that'd be stupid. So I don't really know. I would I would work on that as the game was progressing and just something that we would kind of go with the flow of. Um, I don't know how I did it so well with Breath of Fire 2, but I did. Like I accomplished something in every episode and it, nothing felt dragged on and it was always just, it went so smooth. I I did that, oh god, that was such a good job by me. <laughs> um, anyway guys, I've now officially dragged on a little bit too long. Um, let me know what you guys are thinking, let me know how you feel. Uh, I want to hear some questions and just stuff and stuff, all the things, every single thing, the things, all of them. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch up with you, I guess, in the comments. And then sometime during slash next week, we'll, uh, we'll start some, some new chapter. So take it easy, guys. Until next time, smell you later. Peace.